Belford was had driven a stolen car trying to escape police when he crashed into another car in 2019, killing three people. A couple in the other car was killed along with Belford's younger brother who was with him. Long Island reporter Kristen Thorne with the story from Central Islip. Members of the Weingarten family did not want to speak with reporters before or after the sentencing today. In the courtroom, the couple's son, Jason Weingarten, told Belford, all you had to do was stop driving. My parents did not deserve this. Belford killed Jerome and Randy Weingarten in February 2019 when he crashed into their car while speeding away from police in a stolen vehicle. The Weingartens were just blocks away from their house in Middle Island. Belford's brother told us this about Belford in 2019. He didn't know he was going to kill somebody. He's not that type of kid. The crash also killed Belford's passenger, his younger brother, 16 year old Angelo Belford. He died on top of Narik Belford in the wreckage. Their father, Alfonso Belford, told the Weingarten family today he understands what they're going through after losing his son. Narik Belford told the Weingarten family, I pray for all of you every day. He told his father, I loved my brother with all my heart and soul. I'd do anything to bring Angelo back. Jody Spears Eagle, the Weingarten's daughter, told Belford, don't be another lost soul who spends their life in and out of jails. Be somebody who makes a positive difference in this world. Alfonso Belford cried in the courtroom while addressing the Weingarten family. He begged for them to forgive his son, Narik Belford, for what he did.